Hi there, we're continuing our journey through the Psalms and today we're in Psalm 19 in Hebrew Tehillim Yud Tet, the, the numerals Yud and Tet for 1, uh, for 10 and 9, 19. And this is a Psalm superscribed Lam to the chief musician and it's Le David and it's according to David's tradition, it's Davidic. So this psalm is divided into three. Uh, the first part is a celebration of the creation of the heavens. And the, um, the, the, the singer is singing about how amazing the skies are. The fact that the, 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 the heavens are telling, the skies declare the full weight, the gravity of God's glory. There's something majestic about them. And he says there's no speech, there's no tongue, there's no language where they're their glory is not known. And he says these just point to the, the greatness of this creator, the son like a bridegroom going out of his house to get his bride. And it's just a, a declaration of the amazing power of God in creation. And then in the second section, it moves on to, to extolling the the ways of God and the things that God has provided. The law of the Lord is complete and whole. The the, the the testimonies of the Lord are sure. The fear of the Lord is clean. He's saying all of these things. God is so pure. God is so holy. And his ways are so holy. And he says, um, in keeping them, there is great reward. And they're sweeter than honey to his lips. He's just got such a, a love and a desire for the instruction, for the ways of God. But then in the latter part, he's aware, the singer is aware of the possibility of there being sin in his life, the interference with God, the toxic things that get in the way of enjoying the full beauty, the full glory of the ways of God. And so he appeals to God, he says, God cleanse me from those things which would get in the way, which would interfere with my full communion with you. And in the last, uh, the, the, the last verse, he says, may the, the, the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock, my redeemer, my God and my redeemer. So it's a wonderful, beautifully formed psalm, beautiful thoughts in it. And today, as we go through our day, as we wonder at the amazing creation that God has put around us, as we consider the beautiful ways of God, let us also, with the singer, be able to say, let the words of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart, the reflections of my heart, be commensurate with these ways of yours, be acceptable in your sight, O Lord my God, my rock and my redeemer. Have a good day.